This is the sort of site that's going to greet you when you first open ProShow Gold or even ProShow Producer for that matter. It's the basic layout and the backgrounds. You can see here it's under the ProShow Gold built-in contents. You will find this under your program files under Photodex and in either with ProShow Gold or Producer you'll find the built-in contents folder and there they are. Now there's some of these you might not recognize because it comes, the program actually comes with about, I think it's about half a dozen different uh, backgrounds, but if you come to File, Download Extras, to Download Extras there, you'll notice it's now contacting the Photodex website and it's checking to see what's available for us and it's saying we've got these, I've actually installed them just to save a little bit of time, but select the ones you want, and I must be honest, it's well worth selecting them all. Just pressing down Control, you can see the way you can select the various ones, clicking on this, and down they'll all come. Absolutely brilliant. Once you've downloaded them, this is what you'll be greeted with. There's the sort of menus there, there's various backgrounds you can use, every different occasions there, the celebrations, uh, corporate ones, they are, there's the Christmas, the holiday seasons, education, right the way down the bottom there's some wedding -y ones, we'll come back to those in a minute. But how can you use these? Well, for example, let's just take a look. If we come down to this slide here, if I right click and insert blank slide, by default it'll come in as black. Now if you want to use some of these as part of your slideshow, for example as a background, if you come to show, show backgrounds, it comes to this. There's our solid colour, which of course you can change by clicking here, but we'll leave this as the default one for the moment. Image background, you see I've already got this one selected. If we come to Browse from Media Sources, Pro Show Gold Built-in Contents, we're going to click Open to that, come into the background, and come into Thumbnails. You can scroll down, you can select any of these. I'm going to go for the one of all, no, I'll change it, let's go for this one, and click Open. There it is there. It's stretch to frame. There's the one. It'll come in looking a little bit like that. You might want to play with these and see which one suits the sort of format you're using. That looks pretty good there. We're clicking done. You'll notice the way it's changed. Let's just have a look. Let's come to this slide. Right click. Insert. Blank slide. In it goes. It's now become the default for the entire show. But we can easily change it back. Let's just take a look. If we come back to show. Show backgrounds. If we just, there it is, the image background, click on solid color background, it goes back to black, as done by Miss Winehouse. There you go, back to black, and you've now got your black backgrounds. Let's click delete. There's something else I want to show you. If I just zoom down for one second on this, because once you've loaded them, you won't see them again. Let's just come to this one here. And what I want to do now is I want to use one of those backgrounds as part of a slideshow. You might want to want you, you don't want to always use it for the entire background, he says, tripping over brain and tongue this time. So what we're going to do is double click on this slide here. We're going to come to Layer, add another layer, and add from Media Sources. ProShow Gold, ProShow Producer, exactly the same route. Clicking on this one, we're going to click Open. Backgrounds, we've also got borders there as well. Coming again to Thumbnails, let's scoot right the way down to the wedding you ones. Something like uh, that would be pretty good. Clicking on this and clicking open. There it is there. Now you can actually click on it. You can drag it like this or fill frame, move it around. So you can actually click in it. You can move it around into position. There looks pretty good. Worth trying as well. Stretch to fit, but it looks just a little bit uh, wrong. So let's click on this fill frame and back to fill frame. There, that's the one I wanted. In it pops and clicking done. What we can now do is we can select an image. This one here looks pretty good. We're going to press and hold down Control on the keyboard. You'll notice the plus symbol there, so it's been added in. If we just take a look, there it is there as the layer. That's the layer underneath. You can switch that on and off. You can adjust the position as well by just clicking on the arrow. Now you see me, now you don't. Come into Motion, and what we're going to do is just make sure we got the right layer selected. Drop it down in size. Lift it up into position there. And this is under the Motion tab. Just put the finish position like that. And if we come to Editing, Outline, let's just pop that into white. That looks pretty good. Click in Set Color, Drop Shadow. You'll see the difference there between the before and the after. Clicking on Set Color there. Yeah, I'll leave it as black. Click in Done. And if we just take a look, you can see there it is in the preview. If we click Play, 
and that's how you can use the backgrounds to form part of your slideshow as well. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed this video and until the next time, happy imaging and take care.